I offer you adventure, a chance to really get away and travel. That's very broadening, they say. Break out, leave your home, live life on our adventure. You will roam.
better than other people? Certainly. Other people don't even have hair on their toes. No hair to toes? How strange. Ours are extra hairy. It's polite to say, may the hair on your toes grow longer when you meet someone. Well, come along, my boy. It's time for a second breakfast. I'll fix us an omelet. Ah, yes, that's the way it always goes. Hobbits are the best people in the world, and I'm the best hobbit. Bill Bofagging, Esquire Hobbit. Hmm. Magic needed. Hi, Gandalf, a wizard old and wise. Big the darkling spirits change this sign before my eyes. Refused. Ah, that's more like it. Now everything's ready for Thorin Oakenshield and his band of dwarves. I can call best wizard that you'll see. Beat the darkling spirits in the band of dwarves to me. I hear their marching song. Dragon Smog. Wish him luck, Uncle. Yes, yes, of course. My nephew and I wish you luck. But why come here? We came here on the advice of this respected magician, Gandalf the Great. Gandalf? Gandalf, not the wandering wizard who told those tales of dragons and giants and The fire. same! The same wizard that brought great great grandfather the bowler of the fireworks? Of course, but you aren't old enough to have seen them. My grandmother took saw them. She says they rose up like great lilies and snapdragons and hung in the twilight all evening long, falling at last like silver and gold rain. Bella Donna Took's grandson. I'll remember you, boy. Yes, but we mustn't detain this famous magician. I'm sure he has important business elsewhere. Oh, important business right here. And these worthy dwarves standing all over my front lawn, we mustn't delay them either. Correct. And since their business concerns you, let us get on Concerns business. me? Well, I hardly think I know them. Oh, excuse me, my oversight. Mr. Bilbo Bag is a nephew here. The great Thorin Oakenshield and his band of men. Bolin Gwalin. Killy Billy. Dorin Ori Ori. Owen Lowen. Biffer Bofer. And Bomber. At your service. At yours. May your beard never grow thin. Oh, oh yes, yes, very yes. good. And now to business. Thorin, you asked me to provide a 14th man for your expedition, since obviously you can't expect success if you start with 13. Now, we agreed that he should be a hero, 
and also an experienced burglar since he used to steal that property stolen from you. There he stands, the heroic burglar, Mr. Bilbo Baggins. Uncle, you're going on an adventure, just like Bodor and Tuck. I am not going on an adventure. Hobbits don't hold with trucking around looking for trouble. But Bodor and Tuck. And furthermore, I'm not a burglar. If it hadn't been for the sign on your door. More like a grocer. <laughs> Always nibbling at the stuff. I resent such remarks. Furthermore, there is no sign on my door. Isn't there? My good sire, the sign clearly reads, Birdville wants work. No reasonable law to refuse. That's not my sign! Oh, no, 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 no more talk. We must begin. It will be a long, hard journey. Some of us will never return. What? We may starve or get lost in the forest. And even if we do make it to the Lonely Mountain, we may be eaten by the dragon. Eaten by dragon! Oh. Eaten oh. by dragon! Oh. Dragon! Dragon! But it is dragon! Dragon in a pinch! Oh. Come, come, Bilbo! Oh. You don't understand what an opportunity this is. You've a reputation hereabouts for respectability. You read, you write, you garden, and you cook. You've kept your guilty secret well, but I know your family tree. And feel before your mother was a don't worry, you'll get your 14th share of the treasure. You've a reputation hereabouts for just sitting by your fire. You contemplate, you're calm, you never shout. But this wizard knows inside you there is hidden mad desire. Each generation restless blood wins out. My blood is not restless. Let us be gone. We want no cowards. Wait for it. Feel those. Perhaps you don't understand my offer. I offer you adventure, a chance to really get away and travel. It's very broadening, they say. Break out, leave your house, live life. Are you a hobbit or a mouse? Adventure. And though perhaps it's indiscreet, it's thrilling. Just think who you may get to meet. Goblin fools, hateful trolls, elf to another fancy thinking souls. You've spent your entire life in this small cave. Now just once before you're ready for your grave. Roar like a fool, live life to the full, give in to the full of an adventure. I won't go. Roar in the middle, oh, sorry. You don't you oh, dare oh, touch oh, me. Very brave, young man. Wait, all of you. I'll explain again. Don't bother. No, thank you. Oh, Lord. My life is what I've got. The quiet life for me. I'm timid as a rabbit. And don't make this a tea. He's a hobbit habit. No, thank you. Just those. I won't walk the road to set you change my plan. Life. Oh. Oh. 
the wrongs we've suffered. Uh, that can be remedied. My dwarves, remember the old days. We remember. My grandfather was king under the lonely mountain. Our mountain. We were not coal miners or blacksmiths then. Fallen, speak. Once we mined for gold and great blazing jewels. Just to touch our pale enchanted gold was to dream of beauty. Our treasury was rich in jewels, especially one. The Arkansas. We found it by its own light shining from a dark cavern. We cut and polished it till every facet glittered fire. And then... And then what befell? Fili, Nori, Pippa, all of you? Word of our wretched spread. Mortal men heard of it. Where we had met friends in the eyes, we saw greed and calculation. The dragon heard of it. Smog. Smog. Our hunting party saw him come down on our mountain. The trees exploded in fire. And a few dwarves, a few men of Dale escaped. The dragon made his lair in our treasure, and he rests his scaly head on the sacred ark and stone. We are here to plan attack. Hear, hear! Hear what? Hear what I have to say. You must drive out the dragon. You'll need maps, things like that. What maps. did I tell you? He's the right burglar for us. And I have here the map that you need. My grandfather's map. How did you get hold of it? I didn't get hold of it. Your father gave it to me before he died. But no offense intended. No offense taken. And with it, with this small and precious key to a secret door in the mountain. Keep it safe. I will. Uncle Bilbo isn't one bit afraid. He's just a little old to travel. Oh, please take me. I'm not all that old. Oh, 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 be proud of you. Your tide will come. When? When will it come? Oh, your uncle is going on a great adventure, which will lead to another great adventure. You will go on that one. That's a promise. Thanks. Now run on home, my boy, and tell your mother I'm off killing dragons. <laughs> I believe he said we should get started. Form of dwarves are marching songs. <laughs>
bit. I wish I were poor. You'll be wishing that often enough. A bit of bumper. Offload the pony. Stake them out. Where? Where they can graze. Oh, Why didn't you start a fire? Burglars don't build fires. Owen, blowing. Oh. <laughs> Ned's barking ahead. Let me camp here. Trolls have been known to come this far south. <laughs> An avalanche, probably. Avalanche? Wet ground gives way into rocks, and it all comes crashing down. No overhang. We're safe here. What happened? Are the ponies all right? We, 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 we pick, pick it down by the river. We, Can't you get it out? To look for what happened? There was this awful sound on the pony. Why not? We were afraid. We saw this campsite. Some of the ashes were still warm. A traveler's fire. The tracks were also so big. There were bones all around. Not animal bones. Are they? These are the bones of a hobbit. We'll have to bury these later. The tracks were big, you said? Biggest I've ever seen. Follow it, follow it. It's a troll camp. Oh, well, the troll camp is not here. Well, where is he? How should I know? I just started the while ago. He was gone. Well, things are not so bad. Perhaps our burglar has a suggestion. We're hundreds of miles from home without ponies or supplies. Trolls may be near goblins, too. And Gandalf is missing. But actually, we're better off than we were five minutes ago. How so? Better off. But we're in danger now. You're not suggesting that 13 dwarves and a burglar to defeat a party of trolls. Do what? Yes. That's Wait. ridiculous. Shows how much you know about trolls. I know about trolls. Just lately, I heard something important about them. Oh, what? I can't remember. Oh, well, that time. A few trolls could eat us up for appetite. I've won a ton of die fighting. Oh, I've won three quick. Our supplies are gone. Without any food, we might as well give up. We may still have a chance of getting out alive if we start back. Why not go wait for 13 brave dwarves to talk? If you go back now, then you are doomed. If we push on, then we have a chance. Why, that reminds me of a tale that my great-grandfather Took told me when I was only a wee small hobbit with a bit of buzz on my toes. From the tail of two frogs, there's a lot to learn. They were caught in a fix, made the one just stop, but the other fought on. He came out on top. You mustn't give up. You gotta go on. Things are always done. Shower cream came a tumbling down, and the two little frogs, they were like to Out on top. 
I must admit, I do feel better. We'll rest here a while and then stop before dawn. You must think it all. Get 
their plans. What are they? They're going to drive us along and live off us. We're to be slaughtered and eaten like pigs, one after the other. There's nothing we can do. Owen will think of something. They'll pick him out of that tree and eat him like an apple. They'll eat us before the dawn. That reminds me. It was my nephew that told me how to kill trolls. The how? Well, he was reading this book. What is the point? No time. Listen and do as I do. We got nothing for a good feast. Thank you. 
more trolls? Master, they are not back here with the troll treasure. Gold is heavy and will weight them down. And the trolls have been hard to find. Oh, well, kill the patrol off with their little heads. I told them to be back by midday. Master, what? I hear something. Through the trees. Listen. Our patrol leader and his men approach.
people do come this way. Finders keepers. Oh, Sting! At least I didn't lose you. And since you're not glowing, that means there are no goblins near. Only where have they all gone? There was all that fighting and shouting, and now nothing. a choice feast, at least a tasty morsel, little maker. Who are you? What is it, my precious? Simple Baggins, the Hobbit. I've lost the dwarves and I've lost the wizard. Please tell me which way they went. What's it got in its hands? It's... My sword, Sting. Tell me the way. Perhaps we sit and chat a bit first, my precious. Shall we do riddles? If precious wins, we eat it. If we lose, we shows it the shortcuts. Well, all right, you first. <laughs> As no one sees, taller, taller, far than trees. Up and up and up it goes, yet the answer never grows. Mountains, of course, it thinks it's smart, doesn't it? Try us. Fly from never takes our breath. Fly but feels as cold as death. Never thirsty, ever drinking. All in mail and never clinking. Easy to eat. All the time. Perhaps we should just end the game and eat it now, my precious. Or shall we guess again? Fiddle, diddle, golem, hiss, riddle, riddle, riddle me this. It can't be seen and can't be felt. Can't be heard and can't be smelt. Back of stars and under hills. Every empty hole it fills. Birds and beasts and trees and flowers slays all kings and bites to steal and can grind a stone to me. Oh, that's easy. I know that one. Then tell precious, or doesn't it really know? That's not fair. I just need a little more time. Time. Time is the answer. All right, try another. But here's a box without a key. Neither hinge nor hasp you see. Has no bottom, side or lid. Keeps a golden treasure hid. Give precious a chance. You lose. Show me the time. Exes, exes it is. Fiddle, diddle, call us hits. Fiddle, riddle, riddle. No, the contest must go on. One more riddle, then we eat. It. Another riddle? Ask. Ask. What have I got in my pocket? It must give us three guesses. Very well. Guess away. It's close. Wrong. Second guess? It's, uh, it's a knife. Wrong. Last guess. What is it got in its pocket, sis? Game's on. Uh, One, two, uh, three. Time's up. String on nothing. Oh, you lose. Show me the way the dwarves went. Did we promise that? Did we promise to show the nasty baggins, my precious? Stop. Who is this precious you keep talking to? Do you want to see my precious? Perhaps you sits and waits as while I get my precious gold ring I talks to. Where is it? Where's my precious gold ring? Lost! I found a ring. Perhaps it's your precious. My ring? Where are you? I don't see you. Don't be mad. I'll give it. 
I'll find you until I get the ring and then I'll lace you. Not fair. You're a cheater. I won. Furthermore, I won't give back your ring. It's not really yours anyway. You stole it. So you can just say goodbye to it. Oh, ouch. I hear it's got this. Keep away from me. Just take off the ring for a few minutes, eh? Take off the ring of invisibility? I think maybe it's a ring of invisibility. Keep talking. Where are you? This way. Where? I'm leaving. Billy can't see me. But can I see myself? No. I can't even see my hand before my face. Oh, but I can feel it all right. Now, if I take off the ring, and then I can see my hand and the rest of me, then it must be the real ring of invisibility like my nephew talked about. Well, here goes. Oh, I can see again my good, useful hands. Gone! There! Watch out, Bilbo. Here he comes. No, gone again. The nasty Baggins doesn't know what's happening to its friends. Yes. It doesn't know that the dwarves are torturing them. Torturing them? Oh, wait for it by the door of the dwarves went. Torturing the dwarves. Gandalf, too. And that's the way they went. Please help me, Gollum. I'll give back your ring. I've got to save them. Just come a little nearer and shake hands, sis. You don't need a stone to shake hands. Please help me, Gollum. I'll play it fair. Take off the ring first. So you can sit there and wave your arms to you, stark death for all I care. It's time I went home. Oh, ouch! Help me, Gollum. My ankle. I'm fainting. Maybe it's another trick, my precious. We'll have to chance it. I'm coming, Thorin. Too late! So brawn and absolutely no agility. So what I've got is visibility. The things, my ring, invisibility. I'm free. It's so agreeable. You can't catch. Feeling like a liability. Now I've got the ring, I've got a bit more pliability. When they say I'm wonderful, I answer with humility. I'm really not so very hot. It's just I've got.
We must find fast. Not without Mr. Baggins. He was as good as dead. We'll go back and find out. Go back into the tunnel. We'd be ambushed. If Bilbo's alive, we've got to rescue him. Risk our expedition for a hobbit? Ouch! Who did that? Did what? Who?
who live here, I hate his pride. You think this web will hold the white stag? But perhaps it would. It is strong enough to hold a man. Men dare not enter Mirkwood. But if one did, he'd be safe on the path. And if he left the path and touched the web? The web would hold him. Well, we wound him in a shroud. You want men to eat? You must weave, weave, weave. Why all this fuss? I'll just stun my prey with my dagger. Yeah. Like this. And how, Pratel, will you do this stunning if your victim is moving and thrashing about? I hadn't thought about that. Me neither. Me neither. Why do you think we are called so sinister? A harmless victim does not see our magic web from the path. When they step off, for just an instant, is the strength of our web that captures them. And then your victim is rendered helpless. And that's when you sting your prey with your dagger. And on a moment before, now I'll be back to work. If you want men to eat, you must weed, weed, weed. What was that? Only the wood elves. Hunting also for their game. <laughs>
Did you find the end of part one? It goes on forever. No change. How's Bomber? Still asleep. Poor.
Miss Prowlers we've caught. Oh, my, dwarves we've caught. Search for any others. Elves, come. Uh, not opening 
cells with a C, selling cells with an S. We always think of selling the beautiful crowns and necklaces we made of old. More. Have you a plan about the key? Tell me. Burglarize it from the key ring. The guards are getting sleepy. Their eyes are closing. Try a lullaby. <laughs> Well done, burglar. Now lead us to the back door. There isn't any. This is a fortress. Well, there must be a service door somewhere. They use a trap door. It opens on the river. They haul the wine cows up from the rafts, and when they're empty, they pitch them out and float them down river. A convoy of barrels leaves this very night for Dale. To Dale? But Dale is right at the foot of the lonely mountain. Then this is our golden opportunity. And what do you mean? We're in a shaft in the big fortress with all these guards about. We're in a fortress, but there are only two guards and they're both sound asleep. And there's a way out. We'll go inside the barrel. Back to your cells. I may as well lock you up again so you don't get punished for trying to escape. Oh, well, not so hasty, friend Bilbo. Unless someone has a better plan, we have to try yours. An alternative plan? Then into the barrels. Are there more? Plenty in the hole outside. Quickly. Oh, all
belongs. Are you alive or are you dead? Are you in prison or are you free? And I'll expect the trip was hard on you, too. Well, what have you done about food? About food? How could I? I just got here and had to help unload the barrels. Food? Don't you at least have a plan? We'll have to try Lake Town. What else is there? This way. The food this way. Lonely Mountain. Oh. My dwarf, he lost my eyes. Our mountain, our treasure, and the Arkenstone. Yeah. Oh. Killing smog is our affair. It's warrior's work. All that concerns you immediately is stealing back our treasure, which any competent burglar should be able to do. Well, I prefer to lead the way until you've slain that dragon. No, no. First things first. The key. Oh, I don't see a keyhole. Great. So here we are with no way to get inside until we walk up to the front door, ring the bell, and ask Smog to kindly vacate. Oh, oh, Fran. Oh, oh so Fran. What with all the unforeseen delays, it's late autumn already, the nights are cold. Unless we get inside soon, we'll freeze here on this very ledge. Some of us are already sick. And not a word from Gandalf. Yeah. yeah. The word from Gandalf is you have arrived at exactly the right time. Today is Durin's day. Today and only today is it possible to read the moon letters on the key to the map. Durin's day? Durin? Durin? Durin was my grandfather's ancestor. And as everyone knows, his day is the first day of the Dwarves' New Year. The first day of the last moon of autumn. The day when the sun and the moon are in the sky together. Esteemed burglar, Mr. Baggins, now is the time for you to start earning your reward. To start earning it? Well, it seems I've already done my share. I've got you out of two messes already. But you must use the ring for the cause. All right, I'll go. But isn't what I'm going to do a little bit dishonest? It's your job. You're the burglar. But if we all went in together and fought the dragon, instead of just me alone snatching the treasure, it's very moral. Well, it feels like thievery. We don't believe in thievery, dishonest one that is. We do believe what's mine is mine and what is his is his. But burglarizing something that we think deserves a call. Because you're not stealing anything, reclaiming what is yours.
letters. Moon letters are rune letters. They can only be read when a moon of the same shape and season shines behind them. Thorin, give me the map. Let me try. These runes were written for a crescent moon long ago. Ah, oh, it fits. Stand by the gray stone, and the setting sun with the last light of Durin's day will shine upon the keyhole. But the sun is setting now, the key. Before you go, I must warn you. Smog is well armored with a diamond waistcoat, but there is a bear smart on it just over his heart. That is the only place he can be killed, and it is no larger than your two hands. And I'm sure he guards that place well. Well, anyone want to go Don't along for the ride? Any volunteers? Oh, no, good no, 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 some of my great treasures, but I don't, but you won't leave this room with them. So, look your fill, there's plenty here. No, thank you, Smog. I did not come for gifts. I came to see if you were truly great as the tales tell. The tales of my greatness are all true, look your fill. But I don't see you. Why, it's alive. You are truly the most tremendous thing I have ever seen. You have nice manners for a thief and a liar. I don't remember smelling you before. Who are you? Where do you come from? I came from under the hill and over the hill. I am he that walks unseen. I was chosen for the lucky numbers. Lucky numbers don't always pay off. I am he that buries his friends and drowns them and draws them again from icy waters. I am ring winner, luck wearer, and barrel rider. Barrel rider? I thought so. This is another trick of those tough trading lake men. Listen, barrel rider. You may walk unseen, but you did not walk all the way. Last night, I ate six of your fat ponies. In return for the good eating, I'll give you some good advice. Never put your trust in boys. Oh, uh, well, we... They'll uh, fool you when it's time to pay up, you'll see. And if they do give you some of what they promised, how will you get it home? Will killer trolls and armed goblins let you walk past with it? We didn't just come for the gold. We came for revenge. <laughs> revenge on me? Revenge on Smug? <laughs> oh, thief in the shadow, you are now my destined prey. My treasure will never leave this cave, and neither will you. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I take this opportunity to call to your attention one of the most unusual auctions ever held in our shire. Show the sign, Bob. The sign reads, auction today on June 22nd, Mr. Grubb, Grubb and Burroughs will sell the effects of the late Mr. <laughs> Bilbo Baggins, Bag and Underhill Hobbiton. Sale will begin at 10 a.m. sharp. At 10 sharp! This is the day and it's almost 10. Immediately after this announcement, we will begin the auction. Terms of the sale are as usual. You have a few minutes before the sale to examine the merchandise. All goods must be paid for in cash and removed immediately after the sale. Removed immediately after the sale. Why don't you get on with it? I know exactly what I'm going after. You mean those antique cranberry dishes? I wouldn't want those. I heard they were chips. Friends, friends, this is no time to bicker. This is a very unusual opportunity. The late Bilbo Baggins <laughs> had many, many treasured antiques passed down for many generations. Passed down for many generations. I heard some things belonged to Bulroar Took. My, wasn't he a handsome man in his youth? And remember, he was such an adventure and so dashing. Many things in his hobbit hole have special appeal to antique hunters and collectors of historic memorabilia. Everyone knows that dear, dear, dear Bilbo always bought the best. He left his homey hobbit hole and furnished it in style. And I just can't wait to get my hands on it. Oh, <laughs> I mean, to pay honor and respect to Bilbo and his things. After all, Bilbo so loved his home. If he loved his home, why didn't he stay there? Friends, we will never know the motives of our fellow hobbits. Now, all we do know for certain is that late in April of last year, after living very quietly in his home for many, many years, he suddenly vanished and left home <laughs> without consulting the advice of his relatives or neighbors. <laughs> and since then, Mr. Baggins has not been heard from. His nephew, Frodo, was there at the time and gave an account. But you know how children can be. Yes, children will be children. Accordingly, on the 1st of May this year, on the formal account of his oldest living relative, Mrs. Sackville Baggins, Bilbo was officially presumed dead. Uh. And his effects were ordered sold for the benefit of his heirs. We have been instructed to sell the furniture first. And with that, we will begin. We will begin. Here are those cranberry dishes I was telling you about. Let me see. I want to see those chips. No, perfect. Perfect. Tomorrow, the house will be mine. Here we have Bilbo's frying pan. He has been rumored to make the best omelets in the shower with this. Are there any takers? One shilling. Two shillings. Four shillings. I want that pan. Wait, you cook. Four you shillings going it. once. Four shillings going twice. Sold. To the elegant lady. Congratulations, ma'am. And here, we have a sturdy wooden hobbit chair. It belonged to Bull Roar Took. What am I offering? Two shillings. Two shillings, thank Mother, you, ma'am. Mother, come on, Vin. Don't let them really get on the whole thing. Oh, we can't right afford Right here, three and a half. Them. We've got to. Six shillings. Even if the Six shillings going once. Six shillings, Six shillings going twice. Sold. Stop the sale. Stop the sale. Uncle Bilbo. Brother, it's your brother. You're safe. He's an imposter. But where have you been, Uncle? Oh, just there and back again. Did you kill a dragon? We killed him. I expect you came back a lot poorer than you left. Too bad you didn't have sense enough to stay home. What a poor example for a young hobbit. I should have thought of that. Someone's coming. My good friends, how did you get here? You must have left directly after I did. We did. After you killed Small, you left without taking your share of the treasure. So we brought it along. All that trouble for me? But Thor found the Arkenstone. Ah, uh, that's the sacred Arkenstone. Ask him about Gandalf. It's all you should mention him. You are Bilbo's nephew? Yes. He gave me a message for you. He made me to tell you that he has not forgotten, that he will come for you at the appointed time. But where is Gandalf? Who knows? If Middle-earth ever becomes too troubled, we can be sure that Gandalf will come again. Oh. Well, this is far more than I deserve. After all, it was mostly luck. I'd say mostly good sense and bravery. Brave? Me. Truly brave, Mr. Baggins. I am proud to share this adventure with you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you for the presence of your grace. 